Hey everyone, Chris the Beast here, um, Son of Beast. This is our summer vacation here for 2022 season here for Outer Banks in North Carolina. I have here a lot with my dad and behind the car is the mom right over there. <laughs> She'll be underway here very soon. You can probably can't go wrong. How about you and I dive into North Carolina for the first day? I am right here behind this uh, part of a tree for the black cherries. This is where the path starts. It's um, it is a long walk here going on going on around here, but if um, there is a lot of stuff happening here in the state, checking out what we have here. There's there's bunch there's some uh, there's some animals there yeah we have here, uh, and behind me is right here that is a raccoon. That's a that's a raccoon I've always ever seen them on just just one. But I've seen too many dead uh, dead raccoons around here. This section over here that is a wax myrtle. That's uh, that's where you can see the plants down there as well, right down there. As you see them, you walk by. Of course, uh, eastern con cottontail. That's uh, that's another thing here. Definitely a um, a rabbit. And and then that one over there. That's the the yellow grub. The from the, the warbler. I don't haven't seen any other birds yet, but probably there might be something else uh, going on around here. If you, if you see some birds here, please feel free to leave a comment down here below for yellow warble bird. It's definitely the um, same thing, uh, any, kind of, any kind of type of birds. You may never know. Over here, you have a, you have a gray squirrel. You definitely, um, definitely did hear about this mammal. You know that one? Stack them up high pancakes so all of a sudden. I've always ne never seen it quite so obvious before. Now here's another one over here. That's a red, red bay. That was, um, it's a small, medium size here from the, from this angle here for the shrub. It's very, it's very in between a range. Can't go wrong with any of our, uh, our parts of the shrub of the red bay. You know that one? That's definitely true. Over on a side note here, that is a cardinal. You always see seen the birds here that, that is red. I've always seen the cardinals here. Uh, any ever all in every location already. And also, and it's a red plumage, so it's a male cardinal. Cardinal. Spot them. Also with the females that Buffy Brown. They have the colors out there. Mockingbird. I I was never gonna see that one. Blackish tails. I don't see any birds in here. It's it's hard to see it in, in between. Uh, now there's a live oak. I think this one's the oak. Hmm. Probably. Here's another North American uh, animal that is called a possum. Well, that's for uh, that's for during at night, so they don't come out here for the days. So they always come out here at night. They're trying to endanger them. Don't be enforced if you see one. I like this, uh, I like this stuff for us. Good background. Now here's something cool, cool about the dunes. That yeah, is the tallest. That is 80 to and 100 feet above the sea level. I've always, uh, I always never seen the dunes that's so much high, higher than the mountains from this side, like this tall height. I really was never seeing the dunes that quite often as much, but that looks uh, surreal. Like it's a like it's a savanna sand here in um in in the Africa section, but this one's uh, a little different here in between in between the range. Now you can um, now there's people you can see they're walking up the mountains. Make sure you have your your footwear, or if, or if you don't well. Uh, feel comfortable that way I think that you can bring kites if you don't feel that comfortable without it but I think bringing kites is a is another thing I like it I like bringing the kites so if you have got kites make sure you have it with you it's very a great breeze out here great dune view and 
here's what I could also read here. That's a gray fox. If you could uh, look at it further deep in between here. Yeah, uh, it's hard. Egg lions, I haven't heard of it either. Part of the insect. Adult, looks like a dragonfly. And this, that's the animal tracks. Um, I don't know which track. It's in, in between in between the deer, gray fox, squirrel, raccoon, or bees these guys um you might be finding a, a footprint on the sand but um it's really uh very interesting to to see from the from the far view over there except the opossums because they only come out here at night yeah nothing else to see over here that's uh, that's all it comes out all right pretty fantastic here but this all happens to be honest and they got some uh, hang glidings going on around here Right by the dunes, but we'll get to that one here by the by the couple of the days later. It will be we'll be fine, but but that's all we have gotten here so far. Now I'll be sending you to the shore to check it out, right by the beach. guys I'm here finally here at this uh, this place this is the this is the uh, this is the kind of surf camp here um, it's pretty uh, pretty amazing to have e each rooms from upstairs and downstairs but a little uh, bit opposite of the changes here uh, in between here from the bedroom and from upstairs as well so looks like it's a uh, looks like everything is turned out very nicely a great view out here it's just a very, very nice uh, breeze out there. You can definitely see it from the side of the view right down there as well. I've always been really liking to have this one, this one here, but I don't know about the house. But if you are thinking about that, you want to get a house, well, maybe it's a hard thing to do that one here. But I think this one's a little bit more easier to get me for this one instead. So uh, don't try to like, uh, take commitments here in between the in between here or houses or eat or any of our uh out of our places like a townhouse or some some of our stuff out down now so uh it's pretty amazing like uh to enjoy enjoy this house i feel i really um think this kind of medium is a great spot for us for the whole people to enjoy it let me let me hear about your facts here and if you uh, live in a condominium right right from here go ahead and uh, leave a comment down below I think that I think this guy really. <laughs> you just look at my shirt right down here. That's uh, that's uh, silver spoon. Hopefully, uh, I hope that you got you got questions here. We got great answers. Might be should be a lot that fun. All right, guys. I think this is a good uh, view to have a beach over there, so check it out, guys. Here it is. That's the one that you're looking over there, right down there. That's the beach that we are right at near this edge. Yeah, it looks pretty nice over there. It looks calm, not nothing too wavy, nothing rough. Looks pretty about decent, low and calm. Looks nice on the surface. Really like the beach. Don't worry, we will get there very soon. And here is the other pool. It's right down there outside that you're looking at. Once you go out there, you will see you ahead instant. Jacuzzi over there. This is the pool. That's the ramp right there. That is the kitty pool over there. But it's very nice to have one over here. Looks very nice. That was the water, good? Um, I forgot. No, we don't have a jacuzzi over there. But, uh, yep. But then uh, there's a beach over there, so you can walk over there. Walk up and then definitely get to the, uh, definitely get up there. Right above here. I really like it. 
This looks uh, this looks pretty neat. Anyway, I like it that one. Even if uh, even if you don't want to like go to the beach, you can go in a pool. But if you don't want to go in a pool, you can go to the beach over there by the Atlantic coast of the ocean. Like that one. It looks very neat. Like a waterfall on the deck background. It looks pretty cool. Also, I like the uh, spoon on the deco. Can't be surprised by about silver spoon seen it on the surfing. This is for placing quarters in here. This is gonna look nice and cool. Boom. Now you don't have to worry about that one. You give us a good amount of money if you want. All right, here's the finish I had. Cookies and cream, also with uh, the blue uh, fudge brownie and also the also the Oreos. These are the stuff that have finished it so far. Anyway, time to do some little uh, taste test. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give this one a dip. Don't worry, it's uh, it's the same uh, same ice cream as always. I mean, I'm craving it, doing it too much anyway. Success. No success. <laughs> and here's what dad has. A little mixture, extra flavor here. And then, and then also as well. Definitely a little different, but mine's a little craziest. Yeah. In between those flavor. Definitely a great purchase of her apple for me. Just giving a good, uh, good amount. And definitely tons of stuff. For the autism of the surf. Good morning, everyone. It is officially day one here at the at the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Um, so, as you may already know, that um, it is officially a great day outside. But for today, we are going to be doing some uh, something a little bit amazing here. Outside is the beach, so that's down there as we wanted to do here for so far. Now, um, in each part, I will uh, I will just do uh, do the beginning here and from and for day one as well. So, uh, it looks very nice out there. You can, can definitely feel it. It's really amazing so far. Great skies, great uh, great glorious day here. It's gonna be very dead lot of fun here. Enjoying it so far. Looking very good. All right guys, so here's a good view here. Like when we get up to here in front, I'm already in, in on the sand right now. And here's a good view here that we're about to show it to you guys. A close up from the beach that we are at. It's right by the island here. This is where, uh, where we come in. And here's a good look at the beach right down there. And here it is. This is a very good close up here that I'm in here for the part of the day. Very nice, well, warm, uh, calm wave, but uh, it's not really rough. Just a particular uh, wave out there. Everybody's here for a lot of hot summer fun. As you can see, uh, there is tons of, uh, little tons of boogie boardings. Also, uh, lots of tents propped up here, but, and umbrellas. Looking very good in a sunny, sunny day for this morning. Two afternoon, and sometimes a little, after uh, for the evening here except on the nights when they close that means they pack up and then get going we don't do it here at night that looks very cool honestly you're gonna love that one here catch waves boogie board time gonna catch some good ones here let's do it All right, so it looks like it's a great uh, great place to have the boogie boarding. Got a great couple of waves here. Uh, the sky is looking very great. A little, uh, a little bit hot here on my chest. I was thinking a uh, um, little, uh, little bump out in between. And definitely my hair is like already messed up already. <laughs> so um, definitely amazing how it is going on around here from the back and definitely in the background here, the part of the picture. 
of the beach. Yeah, we're doing really good so far. So if you really like uh, going here for the beach and if you really like this video, make sure you give that one a thumbs up. Also, uh, leave, a, uh, leave a comment down here below if you like uh, any beaches uh, or if you haven't uh, been to a beach here before. You could tell one of the uh, one of the people that you might have known of who have never been near that that time, or they have been here, of course. But uh, it seems pretty good to me. Everything's looking uh, very good. Nice breezy weather. That's like a nice little gaze boat over here. Got a little nice uh, nice pool. Yeah, that's why I went in last time, just uh, before we um, before they were at the beach here. But I'm telling you right now, I'm doing this one here again. I've been in here for like two times already, and it's cool. So it looks like um, everything's turning out very good from the beach down there and from and from the pool right here. Looks very good. Everything's turning out there very nicely. And then, and then after that, we got we got an event to start here for for the next day. So I will be keeping you guys posted here for another one to get by. It's definitely um, lots of good stuff happening around here, but you'll see. You'll see how this one goes. Plus, the deals of the episode 16 part two will be underway. It's on the 26th of August. Yeah, it's coming there very quickly here. We're doing a lot of great stuff out there. Um, trying to make a shorter cut, just no worries. It happens all the time. Trust me, I honestly do. All right, guys, so that's gonna do here for the first part here of the, for the day one of the North Carolina after we got here from the car ride here from last night. And for that time, we are getting to be uh, heading out of here for the first part right now. So I hope you all enjoyed this part of the video, giving you a good uh, view here in between from the North Carolina Battle Banks, from beach, pool, and definitely of, of course, this room here of the condominium. So I'd like to thank you all here for watching for this one. If you haven't checked yet for the last video of Lake George, I highly recommend you here. Click on that uh, calling card up there right from the corner. So I'd like to thank you all for tuning us here. And peace out everyone for a while as the Outer Bank Island of North Carolina dial as we arrived. <laughs> That's definitely true, honesty. Anyways, as for being said, my name is uh, Chris, part of a beast, and I'd like to thank you for watching here on Son of Beast. And with that, till next time. Bye.